Cool. Yeah. The root was an old project bolted by Brian McRae a number of years ago. I knew a couple of people that had gone up it, but from what I had heard, no one could really figure out this one blank section in the middle of it. And so went up it a few times, kind of first few times I kind of thought the same thing. Like it was just a little too blank. And me and one of my buddies started looking out right and kind of saw a path where we could circumnavigate this blank section by going way right and doing going up and then cutting back left. So that dead point where you're going for that right hand slot? Yeah, yeah. What I'd heard, people were just trying to get straight up there and there's just not quite enough holds. Mm -hmm. Like some really terrible grips. What's the kind of history behind the Cirque and like what's your history with it? Cirque is like the sickest crag at the new. Brian McRae climbed Proper Soul in the late 90s and that was officially the first 514 here before Mango Tango got upgraded. But back then, it was kind of recalled as the first 514. And it's still super classic. All is that dihedral. I climbed Proper Soul and Trebuchet um, a number of years ago. My first 514 and my second 514. What about Child's Play? You did that last November? Yeah, Child's Play is one of the hard routes of the Cirque I repeated last season. Also, proper hard mid 514 put up by Nick, another sick project that was just sitting there to be done. What got you psyched for uh, Super Luminal? Just looking for roots to do. It follows a really nice section of wall. Yeah, the climbing is pretty unique for the new. It's consistently overhanging. It's not like one angle to a roof, which a lot of climbing is. It's kind of undulating wave that gets steeper and it's just sustained. And the climbing is also really sustained. You do like two thirds of the route is, you know, maybe 13 minus up to a very good jug. And then you do the hard climbing is just sustained from there to the top. That's where the first boulder problem is when you leave that jug and then you like, yeah, just super pumpy power endurance. So you don't really find power endurance roots out here. Yeah, what's the boulder problem? Like walking through it. Yeah, the first boulder problem, you do like a couple powerful moves and you get to this like crimpy side pull and you, you match it under your hand and do this wild dead point out right to a pretty good finger slot and you're standing on a big ledge, like very good foot, but mm -hmm. the move is very unique. I mean, you move over your, your center of gravity and you just dead point wildly into this slot and that move is very low percentage. I really struggle with that move and it's like the, you know, the guarding move of that upper section. After you do that dead point move, you have but I like to consider like two more pretty hard boulder problems that are a little easier, but they're really technical and you're getting pumped. Um, and then ends, yeah, with this powerful undercling traverse with slippery feet and just a huge dyno to the Waco. It's so sick. Just get as pumped as you as you can, still keep climbing and just all points off dyno. I've been get, having like really good goes and then I kept falling like you know, half of my goes, I'd fall at that dead point move, which is super frustrating because I'm falling like right at the end, right at the last move, and then I fall at the first hard move, basically. And you know, you don't even get to try the, try the upper section, which could be really frustrating. So I think I'd had a day where I couldn't even get through that dead point move from the ground, and I kind of like took a break for a few weeks and came back out, and just a beautiful day, just like me and one of my good buddies. Nick, shout out. Yeah, and I had one really good go. I high pointed my first go and fell doing the dyno. I was super pumped on those underclings and I could not get the power. Fell at the dyno and then my next go, I was just a little fresher and got there and just still wildly desperate. Just dynoed for the, for the Waco and barely caught it. It was sick. Nick was like, I thought you were off for sure. It was awesome.
Come on, Tyler. Ugh. Come on. Go hard. 